Hi guys, the next service that we're going to be self-hosting on Coolify is called DocMost. It's essentially a open source version of Confluence or Notion if you're not familiar with that. So let's get to it. The first thing we're going to want to do is add a project on Coolify. So let's call it DocMost Tutorial. Click on the production environment select add a new resource and search for docmost then select your server that you're going to be self-hosting it on and we're almost done so we're going to remove the extra string on the service name and we'll do the same on the domain this will make it short and easy to remember and so now we're ready to deploy so let's go ahead and well, actually before we do that if we click edit on the compost file here you'll notice there's a uh, so a couple services the docmost postgres and redis and um, there's a couple of environment variables but um, there's no environment variables for in the uh, but there's no environment variables for an email server, so SMTP. And so what this means is if you're trying to add members as you typically would for a documentation, you would not be able to send emails, invitation emails specifically to them. And so the way around this is to add some environment variables and uh, the documentation is very clear about how to do this. So you add some environment variables for the SMTP setup that you have. And um, so these you would simply add to your compost file if you are going to be using those. So you just add them here. So for example, SMTP host, so whatever the name is of the environment variable. And that is it. You can also configure storage. So you can configure AWS uh, uh, storage but we're not going to be setting up any of that for this tutorial so we're just going to go ahead and click deploy so now that all the containers have started we can close that and as you can see there's some well there's one service the main one that's still running so we need to wait for this to be healthy before we can visit the link so let's wait a little bit and then we will visit the domain and there it is so let's open a new tab and search docmost and we are ready to get set up so when you visit the url the first time you just enter the workspace name your name your email and password so i'm going to go ahead and do that and there you go you're in so now you get to use a free notion or confluence on your self-hosted server so just to illustrate this, we're just going to click into the general and add a new page. Just call it my first page. It's similar to Notion, press slash and then and then enter different types of fields. So heading, I believe there's also a chart that you can code. Yes, yeah, so, so there's a, a lot of things that you can do here. I'm not going to go into detail to every single thing because it's out of the scope. But this is a very neat uh, application so that you can document certain things, processes, etc. So we'll leave it here. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.